His stuff tonight just looks different. Yeah. And a strikeout is number seven. 2-2 two -two pitch. Check swing, yeah. and he went around. And a breaking ball that Zanino smothers and now gathers. What is up guys? It is Baseball Nerd back with another MLB video. We got some breaking news as starting pitcher Blake Snell has been traded to the San Diego Padres. And this is crazy. I know this is a late video. It's almost it's 9, 9, 10 or something like that on the West Coast where I'm at as I'm currently shooting this video. I debated shooting it or not really quick just getting out to you guys. But I figured let's just do it. You know, this is some cool breaking news. It's kind of been a slow off season. So Blake Snell is going to be a San Diego Padre. This would be I don't want to be, you know, a buzzkill, but this would be just even cooler if Mike Clevenger wasn't going to miss the 2021 season because this San Diego Padres team would literally jump, in my opinion, to a top two, three team in the league. They would have an insane starting rotation. I know losing Kirby Yates as their closer hurts their bullpen a little bit. Great starting lineup. I mean, they'd just be stacked all around. They did give up a heap of prospects in this, though. They gave four prospects up going back to the Rays. The Rays got Luis Patino, who is the, probably the biggest prospect in this pack. He's a starting pitcher. If anyone on this uh, channel watches or plays MLB The Show, you know him from his Future Stars card. And they also gave up um, Francisco Mejia, who is a, was a really highly touted prospect catcher. Um, I started a dy uh, Dynasty League fantasy in baseball a couple years ago, and he was a guy that me and my buddy picked up we split a team. We picked him up in the draft. He was supposed to be really good. Um, haven't heard a lot about him coming up, obviously. I know they, they traded for Nola last year to be their catcher. They got Castro from the Angels and stuff like that. So I'm not sure exactly where his place was in the Padres, so maybe they were okay with being um, done with him for now. They also give up Cole Wilcox, who's a pitcher. I've heard up and down things about him being kind of wishy-washy, if he'll pan out or not. And then uh, Blake Hunt, who's another young catcher I did not know about. But yes, so Blake Snell is going to the San Diego Padres. And, um, you know, just to look at it, I'm going to throw up a tweet right now. But the Padres rotation in 2021 will be Snell, Danielson Lamet, Zach Davies, Chris Paddock, and then their, their choice of four different guys who are all studs. We've heard of Mackenzie Gore, really, really, really high, super, super good prospect. And then the other three guys you've all heard about. Then they're the rotation in 2022. And this is what I'm saying is just scary it's not even that next year they won't be good obviously this trade makes them even that much better after already being a playoff team a world series type of contending team this just raises them to the next level but in 2022 this will be scary when their top three is snell lamette and clevenger and then paddock gore and those other guys to fill at the bottom of the rotation this is going to be a nasty, nasty starting rotation. And the good thing is for the Padres, I was really hoping my Angels would go after um, Blake Snell because, you know, he's got three years of controllability. They had this guy for three years. He's already won a Cy Young. He pitched in the World Series. He was really good in the World Series. This obviously is not the only time the Rays have pulled the plug on Blake Snell and got him out a little too early, in my opinion. Flamer. Kevin Cash is removing Blake Snell after five and one-third innings. Nick Anderson is coming on. The Rays are going to try to use the bullpen the rest of the way. Snell is done. A controversial decision, no doubt. Nick Anderson is coming on to face Betts. Blake Snell, I don't think, has ever been better. But two times through the order, he is finished. We'll find out what Um, It's definitely a Rays type of move, but this sucks if you're a Rays fan. You know, I just, I, I, I'm excited as far as baseball goes because... I think the Padres are really close to having a good team again. I'm a California guy, so I like to watch the California teams do good. I, I, hopefully my Angels do the best, but, you know, the Padres are still fun to watch. They have so many good players with, you know, friend, Fernando Tatis Jr., Manny Machado, Tommy Pham. And that's another thing, Tommy Pham, that was last year or whatever it was and during the offseason when he got traded and Snell had the comment about getting some slapstick prospect back for him. And uh, that was pretty funny. Now he's the guy going to the Padres and the Rays are getting some slapstick prospects back for him. So maybe Tyler Glass now will come out and say that or something. But yeah, guys, just had to get this video out to you guys really quick. Um, please like, subscribe, turn on notifications. I'll try to get these out fast when big moves happen like this. I know this one's late. I'm already, you know, kind of comfied up, chilling. But Try to get some more stuff out. Um, I got some new equipment for Christmas, so hopefully getting out better and you know more improved videos for you guys here shortly. So thank you guys and see you next time.